Podcast Monday, so if you are making your way around Guam's various thoroughfares, please, please be safe out there. We'll keep you abreast of what's going on with the weather. Out on the sea, however, there is going to be a wonderful event uh, named after a fantastic member of our community, Gregorio Perez and his godson, Jay Perez, again, my former boss, joins us now in the KUM News Zoom Room. So, Jay, good morning. It, it's been it's been a few minutes. So how are you, first of all? Good to see you. I'm good, Jason. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah. So um, this is a wonderful thing that you're doing, you know, for your Nino to celebrate, you know, his memory. And I remember, you know, the pictures that you sent us, we're bringing them up on screen right now. At the time, this was a world record for the largest marlin caught, right? That is correct. Um, and not just at the time, the, the record was broken in 82. Um, I believe it was a fish, a marlin caught out in Hawaii. Um, but uh, as far as is concerned, um, it is still the record. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, this is always going to stand. I, I actually remember from my, you know, my, my Nino, my late Uncle Joe, who was an avid fisherman, uh, and he would make reference to the fact that, like, there's this massive marlin that was caught. You know, like, uh, earlier in the show, Jay, I was talking about the fact that, like, um, my family took a trip to uh, Universal Studios. And I actually stood underneath the Jaws shark. You know, like, the the big right. fake fake shark that they use in the movie and everything. And that thing looked like a guppy compared to, you know, the pictures we've got of, of this of this marlin. So, you know, what kind of memories does that does that stir for you and everything? Because, uh, you know, this is something, obviously, you know, family and friends, you know... Um, literally like a a big fish tail that you can take with you the rest of your life yeah um good memories good memories i i was fairly young at the time i do remember um pretty vividly though um i'm not sure which pictures you have but um i was actually in a couple of the pictures they took hmm. um yeah huge i mean just enormous marlin you guys must have had swordfish keleguin for at least a week every single day i would assume <laughs> yeah that's that's gonna feed a few that's, people for a while it grow gills yeah, yeah that part i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> well jay you know there's a lot of uh fishing tournaments around uh so how do you feel that this one is going to kind of stick out from uh the pack and uh what's it going to offer to those people who join okay yeah so let me tell you a little bit about what's happening with uh this derby um it is the first annual greg d paris International Sports Fishing Derby. Um, it will take place on August 25th. And that date is very significant because that's actually the anniversary, the 52nd anniversary of the catch, the world record marlin catch by my Nino. So that date is very significant. Um, the, uh, the, the categories obviously are similar to a lot of the, the derbies that are out there. Um, we're looking at marlin category, yellowfin category, wahoo, mahi, and bonita categories. Um, s- over sixty-four thousand dollars in prize money up for grabs. So, it's it's definitely worth being a part of this derby. Um, and the special prize is fifty thousand dollars for any marlin um, over eleven. 11- 53, 1,153 pounds. Hold on a second. Which, which was whoa, the whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. World back, record weight. Back it up here a second. Did month. you just say $50,000? That's correct. Five zero fifty thousand. 50,000. Well, Jay, you know, you know, Chris, as soon as we're done with the show, he's going to go over to like Boat Basin. He'll be like dumping, you know, like a, like a fish hormones in, <laughs> into, into the water to try and steroids. grow these fish. Yeah. Fish steroids. Fish steroids. <laughs> So, but they've got to break the 1,153 pound that your godfather set. Pound That's the Marlin record. category, yes. Wow. This, this is also very, very big of you because a lot of people would say, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's such a special thing, you know, to have that record. And, you know, some people believe that, you know, records shouldn't be broken. You know, Jay, I, that, you know, because I know you, I know you're a big sports guy. And, you know, there are athletes who, some athletes say, I never want my record to be broken. Others say, I can't wait for the next guy to do it. So this is very, very big for your family to say, you know, we would like to see someone surpass this record well yeah and i i mean yeah that's great it's it's definitely not an easy thing to do i mean the record was set 52 years ago in this part of the world it still stands so um it's not an easy thing to do and uh my nino was definitely one of the uh 
you know, great fishermen of the island. So, um, yeah, I mean, if someone can do it, great. But um, it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, you may want to have a pretty big boat. Just uh, FYI, a <laughs> little, little bit of a pro tip. If you're going to haul in a 1,200-pound. Not a, not a Zodiac. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, a, a marlin that size, I mean, any fish that size is, mm -hmm. um, I mean, when they caught the world record marlin, um, there was five people on the boat mm -hmm. and they could not get the marlin into the boat. So they actually tied it off to the side of the boat and dragged it in. in. Yeah. Are there, are there any, uh, are there any parameters or like stipulations as far as, you know, since you mentioned it, you know, how, how small or how big of a team there can be and, you know, the boat size and, and what, and the, 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 um, the gauge of the fishing line and whatnot. Um, there, there are some rules and regulations that are in place. There's, there's really no, um, specific size requirements as far as the boats are concerned. Um, and I will get to, um, in a little while there's, there's uh, contact information. I, I guess I can just yeah. give it to you now. Yeah. Yep. Contact informa uh, information for people that are interested um, to get uh, registration forms to find out more information um, if they want copies of, <clears throat> excuse me, rules and regulations. Um, they can reach out to either Guam's Sport Fishing at gmail.com or they can call. 6892488 and they'd be able to get the applications to register for the derby um and any other information they need right on so uh, jay so are there any um what was that question you asked jay about the fishing line <laughs> i'm sorry about what <laughs> You can tell Jason doesn't know about no, I'm fishing because I was saying, said, you know, are there, are there, are any, there any stipulations about the gauge of the fishing line that you have to use? <laughs> so basically, it's basically, as long as, long as as long as you bring in as long as you bring in a marlin that exceeds eleven hundred fifty three pounds, then you then you would be considered to win the prize. Yeah, you don't want to use ten pound yes. test on an eleven hundred pound marlin, Jay. Yeah. First of all. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you're gonna pull one in on. Uh... 10 pound test. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fisherman joke for you, Jay. I, I, th I think I got my old, my old rod uh, and reel from Gibson's way back in the day, right? <laughs> and my dad got me for seven oh, bucks. Can't take you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jay, and, and closing. So I know that's uh, still about three weeks out. So maybe we'll bring you on a little bit closer, or shake the tree. Okay. Sounds good. If I could, um, again, 60, over $64,000 up for grab. So, um, yeah, we encourage as many fishermen, fisherwomen, pescadots in it as possible. Um, it's basically fishermen, you know, it's another day of doing what they love doing. So um, we look forward to getting as many people as we can involved in it. Um, if I can, I also want to um, mention some of the sponsors that are helping make this possible. Um, Cassidy's Insurance, Johnstone Guam. Guam Home Center, uh, Flip Flop Shops, Ambrose Inc., Guam Fisherman's Co-op, Papa John's, Submarina, W5 Productions, and it &E. So without these sponsors, obviously, it would be a lot more difficult to put this derby on. So we really appreciate them stepping up and, and uh, being a part of it. And there you go. Your chance to win $50,000. Yep. Right, and um, I work for I work for Jay's family for several years. As I said, they're really, really good people, good members of our community. So right this, is, this is a very worthwhile event and a good time to put this on. Jay, as uh, we're now in, um, well, we're in peak or three, but there's no more limitations. So people can come out, they can gather. You know what I mean? We can all eat uh, Marlin Kelligan. <laughs> exactly at the award ceremony. Exactly. Right on. Thanks, Jay. Good having you on. Let me know if you want to jump on before the tournament. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a great day. You too. Have a great yeah. week. Stay dry. Uh, it's 928. We're going to take a quick break, and we're coming back with more of the link. Actually, get your passport ready, because we're going over to the Philippines. Yep, to the medical city with Jason Solis. That is next. Right here on the link. Good morning. KUAM News, in partnership with the Guam Visitors Bureau, brings you the Guam Safe and WTTC Safe Travel Certified Program Showcase. Look out for this powerful symbol for visitors, island residents, and industry workers alike, as it represents establishments with the consent.